welcome back to Zoom TV. I'm now with someone that I grew up with and someone that I have a massive amount of affection for, Lynn McGregor from Home and Away. Uh, can we stop right there? My name is McGranger. I'm going to tell you a story. Three Far years away. ago, in, at Telethon, they, and when they used to do the intro for the rundown of talent on the stage before it went to air, and please welcome to stage. She's been on Home and Away for 17 years, Linda McGregor. <laughs> I'm standing there going, I wonder who that is. Sounds a lot like me. Oh my God, it's me. I'm going to stab somebody. Now, I apologise for that, but that's all, all right. people know you for, like me, is Irene. Well, that, you see, I think that's the problem, darling. I think that's it, is that people sing out Irene in the street. That's what they know me as. Because I've often said to people, what's my real name? They go, oh, um, it's, it's Lynn. It's Lynn, it's me. McGregor! <laughs> Celine McGregor! <laughs> Don't say that, people. That brings up a good question. I was going to go somewhere else, but when you actually act on the show, you know, it would be very confusing to use real names and then character names and real names and character names. You know, sometimes you do get them mixed up. You do. I, like, I'll be having a scene with Ray, and I go, blah, blah, blah. You know, you really should look after yourself, Ray, Alf, Ralph. <laughs> He just says, find me a professional actor, will you, please? <laughs> just move on. Somebody to work with. Just move professional. On. Yeah. But mostly Paul, I get it right. <laughs> 21 years on the job, you get pretty you get pretty safe. You're here at Telethon every year. You do so much like a person that is still coming through. You don't have to do stuff like this, so this must be very passionate to you. Look, it must mean a lot. I I love doing telethon for a lot of reasons. A, it's huge fun. You know what it's like. You're doing the phone room, you're doing the social media room, you're doing interviews, you're doing, you know, you're going to the hospital, you're on the panel, you're doing a dance number, you're doing minute to win it. I have to say, this is the busiest I've ever been. You, in the past, I've had a couple of hours off here and there. Not this weekend, it's been full on. But the reason I personally do it is because I like to be involved in something that shows Australians and humanity at their very best. OK, well, something a little bit more personal. Why do you act? I act because I'm a massive show-off. <laughs> Number one. Number two, I act because I really enjoy climbing inside the skin of somebody else. And that's, in fact, what you're doing. Most actors do it a lot in different skins. I've just been fortunate to do it over 21 years in the one skin. Mm -hmm. So I've been able to live her life, mm -hmm. live Irene's life as well as I live mine. Now, I'm gonna ask you this Santa Fast Five really quickly. You ready for yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, first car you ever owned? A little Hillman Minx. Classy. What is your opinion of the worst car on the street? Oh, those smart cars are silly. I always I like bringing them back to the smart cars. Oh, I see, see, I wouldn't drive one of those because I'd look. it looks to me like it's been chopped in half. What is your opinion of the best car? Like I've got to say I love Audis. I'm not big into big four-wheel drives, but I like the little ones. I love Audis. OK, and uh, what's your biggest fear? My biggest fear is heights. If I had to jump Come. out of a plane, I think you would have to hit me over the head. I would like to wrap this up by saying I enjoy watching you on TV. Thank you. I enjoy the career that you've had. And most of all, I enjoy the person that you are. Thank and you it's very been a much. a pleasure to meet you. Thank you, Lynn. You're very welcome, Paul. McGranger. Lynn McGranger. <laughs>